And it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and he said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. And he said, please take your son, your only one, whom you love, yea, Isaac, and go away to the land of Moriah and bring him up there for a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I will tell you. And Abraham arose early in the morning and he saddled his donkey and he took his two young men with him and Isaac his son and he split wood for a burnt offering. And he arose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. And Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey and I and the lad will go yonder and we will prostrate ourselves and return to you. And Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and he placed it upon his son Isaac and he took into his hand the fire and the knife and they both went together. And Isaac spoke to Abraham his father and he said, My father, and he said, Here I am, you my son. And he said, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And they both went together. And they came to the place of which God had spoken to him, and Abraham built the altar there and arranged the wood, and he bound Isaac his son and placed him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. And an angel of God called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. He said, Here I am. He said, Do not stretch forth your hand to the lad, nor do the slightest thing to him. For now I know that you are a God-fearing man. You did not withhold your son, your only one, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes, and he saw, and lo, there was a ram. And after that it was caught in a tree by its horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham named that place, the Lord will see, as it is said to this day, on the mountain the Lord will be seen. And an angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven. He said, by myself have I sworn, said the Lord, that because you have done this thing and you did not withhold your son, you're only one that I will surely bless you and I will greatly multiply your seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. Your descendants will inherit the cities of their enemies. And though your children shall be blessed all the nations of the world because you hearken to my voice. And Abraham returned to his young men and they arose and went together to Beersheba and Abraham remained in Beersheba. And it came to pass after these matters that it was told to Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, and she also bore sons to Nahor, your brother, Uz, his firstborn, and Buz, his brother, and Kemuel, the father of Aram, and Kased, and Hazo, and Pildash, and Jidlaf, and Bethuel. And Bethuel begot Rebekah, these eight did Milcah bear to Nahor, Abraham's brother. And his concubine, whose name was Ruma, had also given birth to Tabah and Gaham and Tahash and Mekah.